Wasn't that beautiful? Well, here we are. There's the valley. That's little cap. Oh, right there, the top of it. I don't know what those things are. Big rock. It's funny how there are a lot of those around here. There's a road down there. And that shadow right there in the middle. That's half the. We're probably right in here somewhere. We're at pitch six, top of pitch six. And Bo led an amazing three pitches in the dark last night. I think he took the elevator. And uh, this is where we slept. This is called the Sloping Bivy. That's where I slept. Fun, huh? And it's pretty sloping, as you can see. So we're going to go up there. There's the visor. There is somebody sticking their feet over the edge. Or something. Can you believe that? <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay. This, we're going to go up and up there midday, hopefully, where there's a guy climbing in there. Where'd he go? Oh, yeah, he's right there. Right there. But I think that he's supposed to be in that big hole instead, which could cause him problems when he has to get up there. Anyway, that's that. So do you have any choice words for this morning, Bo? Uh, no, it will. To slot or not to be. <laughs> and that's, that's regarding pitch 12. Okay. All right, that's, that's pretty, pretty good. Pretty enlightening. How about yourself? Myself, I'm going to limit the number of cuts in my hands and uh, not fall. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay? Yeah, well, don't do it. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, sayonara. Let's see if I can do another really nice, nice sign off here. The button is in the weirdest place. Okay. Okay, I think this is a curse. Every time we try something the first time, it screws up. Mm -hmm. We got up to pitch seven, six and a half. Seven and a half? Anyway, seven. I got off route and we were slow and there were like 35 people there. It was really a party. So, this is it. Here, take a picture of me because I want to mute. Let me take it with this. Oh, it's still recording, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <clears throat> well, Bob said we are slow. Gatorade. Yeah, that's good. For the big thirst. Well, so we were slouches. But that's the thing, Bob. I think it's better to say that we weren't necessarily just that. We uh, had adverse circumstances throughout this uh, little trial. Um, we're fully aware that we could have done a route like this, but... We were permitted otherwise to get down. Uh, boy. I just don't know what to say. Uh, that's right. You might notice the guy up there in the corner. That's Andy. What was Andy's friend's name? Uh, Matt, maybe? Matt. Yeah, they're from Washington. We've been climbing with them all morning and we told them yeah, they're behind us and now they apparently are ahead of us. But they're pretty washed as well. They have nine more pitches just to get to Big Sandy, which is right up there. And uh, that might be a real, real feat for them to do today. What is it, uh, one o'clock? 12.40. 12.40, so 20 off one. Not a good situation. So, the point being, circumstances didn't permit us to get this thing done this time. Which is a real drag, because I know both Bob and I Really reserved. enjoyed the hike in. 
Yeah, I think the most painful thing about having to bail off a root like this is the invested time and energy into it. A root like El Cap, you go back down to the car and you plan your next trip right away. Here you, you have to give yourself some time to forget how nasty this was. I think next time we should bring more food and water so when we hike in uh, we have 80 pounds instead of 60 pounds. We need more weight is what you're saying. Yes, more weight. That rock looks a bit like an owl, I think. The head on top with the beak and that like uh, hey, Bo, feather on the side. Who's up there over to the side? Studo. Yeah, we got some guys on a route right in the center of the wall. A little hard to see with the camera. You can zoom in probably. Yeah, it's dark though. There he is. I really, really don't know what route they're on. I would guess Queen of Spades or um, the Big Chill. I, uh, I, uh, I don't know. But a uh, really impressive climb that they're on. Right up the center of the dome. And then those guys that we were filming the other day back on Zenith have gotten another 50 feet in the last day and a half. You can see them too, I think. There they are. All bags and all. It's a hard route. Well, at I, that rate, it'll take them three months. That's the thing. That's what I don't understand. Is it, at that rate, how are they ever going to do it? So we wish them luck, but they're screwed too. Glacier Point across the way. The Glacier, glacier Point apron. Oh, look at the diving board. Good picture of the diving board from here. It's a little hard to make out, but. Yeah. Diving board is right over here. Apparently, there's a route that goes up that wall, too. It's in the book. It says diving board wall or something yeah. like that. Real nasty. And uh, what else can we point out? Because we did this on Elk Gap. We have to be <laughs> consistent. Uh, nine o'clock wall right there. Host of uh, crystal cyclones and other nasty routes. And then there's the firefall wall um, where the observation deck is for Glacier Point. Used to throw the fire off the edge, I guess. I'm too young to have ever experienced that. <sighs> okay, let's get out of here. Five open books. Lower tier, middle tier, and upper tier. And the falls are around the corner. Well, here we are, Monday morning. We've climbed it so quickly that we're, uh, we slept the night here. So we're just kind of right around the, uh, the base of the cable route. The cables are up over there. You can't really see them from here. No, actually, maybe you can. They're up that white line. Anyway, so this is where we slept Sunday night. And kind of nice views. Pretty bright. This is our stuff. We're gonna go down and get some water, and uh, then meet Kenzie back here. She's gonna help us carry stuff. Yay! What do you have to say to that, Bo? That's a good deal. <laughs> that is a good deal. Exactly. <laughs> this is our little water source. It's right on the side of the trail here. I thought Bob looked like a clown washing himself in mud. But here's the old uh, trail that we came up two days ago. We're feeling a lot less heavy while we're carrying this time as those uh, bags there and a little water bottle. We're gonna fill up some water waiting for Kenzie to arrive. Uh, it's actually pretty clear water. Yeah. You can see it right there. Just a few uh, parasites and protozoans, viruses. That's right. They're good for you. Protein. We'll be able to filter everything but viruses today, Bob. Okay. You'll have to live with that.
But uh, so once upon the valley, you'll find green grass this time of year. I still have those pills. That, no, no, the they don't kill viruses anyway. Yeah. Actually, they do. I'll take that back. It's the iodine that kills it. Right. And and this guy's a tra he's trained. Don't do this at home. A trained ranger standing on the edge without being clipped in. His buddies over here, over there, just kind of watching him. And the root comes right up where these guys are. There's a big boulder down there. Can you? Hold on. Oh, Bo has more guts than I do. I can't stand out on it on that thing much longer. Mainly because if you look right down there, it goes right through. So he's just on a couple rocks balanced there. No big deal. How are you guys doing? <laughs> That's right. That was a fun climb up there, wasn't it? That was killing It was so easy. Oh my god, piece of cake. There's the top of Captain. Valley. All around us. We're on top of the visor right now. You guys are finishing right below the ranges, right over there. Can't really see because the light's pretty shitty. But that's where they do it. We would have been there. But nothing too crowded. Hopefully, it's Mark and uh, Andrew, the guys that we saw. Hopefully, it'll be them. Topping out. Get back to you later. later. Well, that was supposed to be us. Actually, right about now. Yeah, it's it was 2 o'clock on uh, Wednesday, Monday, Monday afternoon. And, uh,. But instead, we got a decent night's sleep last night. <laughs> yeah, we did. And it actually turns out that the group of people, that the Spaniards that slowed us down and the other guys that were quite a bit faster, the free climbers, haven't even, these guys haven't even seen them. So that means that they're probably four pitches or so below them. So And they were quite a bit faster than we were. Sounds like they never made it to Big Sandy even last yeah. night. So if they didn't, we sure as hell wouldn't have yeah, been. We would have been looking at at least another day and a half. With, food, with our food running out now. It wouldn't have been pretty. It's not what we wanted. Yeah. You wanted a nice, yeah. enjoyable climb. Yeah. Shit. Leave, leave an empty jar of water. Yeah, but those are climbers, though. I mean, it's just like everywhere else. Climbers leaving trip behind. Yep. Well, climbers don't have impact. I mean, there was a, we don't need to be managed. There was a whole... Um, when we were down at the base yesterday, there were three guys who basically, there was kind of like one, looks like a, kind of a fireplace that people just throwing cans and shit in, and there were these three guys just decided to take it upon themselves to clean it up, and they, they packed the whole shit down. Did they really? Yeah, all of it. Those guys should get a fucking medal. Yeah. Did Problem you? Is. Wait, get back on the screen there. Get back there. Get back, get back. <laughs> okay, Bo and Kenzie. Oh, just, just hike a little further, right? This is the way that most... Ugh. I have to be above though because I am superior. Yeah. This is the way, unfortunately, the only way we got to climb Half Dome. Taking but the, it was the good way. The good way. All the way up. The cables. Oh. That's, how, what's the degree on that at, the, at its steepest, Bo? Huh? It's 45. 45. A little less steep than the uh, other way to go, which is the way we were supposed to go, which is about 85. Anyway. Well, this is what happens when you bail. <laughs> it's the only way you can see the top half dome. Everybody say goodbye. Bye. There it is. Didn't get to do it. Finish. Oh well. You can see where we hiked down from the, from the left side down there. Down to right about there is where we started. We got up probably right around in there. About a third of the way. Actually, right in that junk, about where we stopped. And then, went back to the top, lit earlier today. Anyway, I don't know, that was a lot of work. Man, is that a lot of work. Hey, keep those cards on. Anyway, well, who knows, maybe another time. 
Bueno, 